Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you all the social media widgets that you have available to use in your sidebar on your word, in your WordPress admin panel. So, let's go to your admin panel and let's go to your widget section. This is found under appearance and under widgets which is on your left hand side here. So appearance and click on widgets. That will bring you to this page here that I'm on right at this moment. So when you're on this page you have three social media icon groups of widgets you could use. Uh, not icons, uh, tools. The first one is is YouTube, second one is Twitter, and the third is Facebook in no specific order. So your Facebook widgets are the ones found here the, and the ones that start with FB. FB activity feed, FB comments, FB like box, FB like button, and FB recommendations. And then the, the your, uh, your other ones, your Twitter and your YouTube ones are the ones found here under Twitter and then the YouTube one is found under Z, it's called SZ YouTube widget. All right, since you use, you can only use it once, so it's already I already have it in the sidebar, so there it is. But for you, it's going to be under S. It's called SZ YouTube widget, as you see here. All right. So here's what you want to do. I'm going to show you how what all of, all of them are, and then you just choose what you want for your site. So let's first put in all of the Facebook Facebook widgets in. Okay, so first we have our Facebook, our Facebook uh, widgets. Your Facebook widgets are basically all the Facebook social plugins that they've built and created. So um, it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, after you look at it once. But just to show you what you need to do, here's what you need to do: your Facebook activity feed. That just is going to be if you use this. This is going to show visitors what the most recent activity of sharing your articles are. So if I'm a, if I'm if I like your, if I'm a friend or a fan of your site or page or or anything to that nature, what this is going to show me is basically, um, it's going to show me the the latest postings that people that I know in my network have shared or maybe liked or shared anything that I've done any activity of or friends in my network that any activity they've done on your site. All right, so here's the thing you want to do on all of these: make the width 300. All right, the height I like to leave blank. The border color I just like to leave that default. And now let's go and click on save. And let's do the same thing for all these comments. This is just what uh, this gives people the option to leave comments on your website. So with let's do 300. Click on save. Your like box. This is basically your the most important one I think, which is the the uh, getting them to like your Facebook page all right or getting them the the like box on your Facebook uh, for your Facebook page all right so let's first choose with and the key thing we need to do is choose the Facebook page ID and you you need to actually find your Facebook page ID so here's how you do that go to Facebook and then when you're in Facebook go to edit page and under edit page when you see when you scroll to the top you're gonna have you're gonna have ID equals and it's gonna get, it's gonna have this number what you want to do is take that ID number before the and before the and symbol alright and now with that go back into widgets and enter your Facebook ID here and then enter your width 300 your connections this is just how many people's pictures you want to show and when it says show header and show stream that's pretty much meaning do you want to show your latest your stream means your latest postings where is it your streams means your latest postings that you've posted to your Facebook page and your header is just like the style I, I like to leave the header off give it a go if you want to see what it does now um, I, the stream though I think it's pretty important to show them your latest Facebook postings so now let's scroll down we click on save and the last one is the one that you're probably most familiar with it's your Facebook like button and uh, this is just basically exactly the like button and uh, you can share some. It's something to share the article. Choose your width, 300. Leave the height blank because it'll automatically do it. And then show faces. I like to show faces of people that have liked the page. And now after that, click on save. 
and that well, as that one's going, let's, let's look at our last one, which is Facebook recommendations. And this one's very familiar, uh, familiar, similar to the to the uh, activity feed in that when I come to your site, if if my friends have liked content on your site, then it's going to show me the content that they recommend. Plain and simple. It's kind of similar to the activity one. So we choose 300 width, and we're going to go ahead and cl click on save. And now we're all set for that. So real quick, I'm gonna go over these two so we can just look at look at them all as one in one fell swoop. Your ZZ, your SZ, YouTube widget. When you open this up, here's what it is. It's basically gonna show however many of the latest videos from whatever account you choose on YouTube. But here's what you have to do: give it a title, choose who you want to show your latest accounts from. So find videos by I like to do specific username, and that's pretty much your username on YouTube. So it's youtube.com forward slash tizish so your username for me is tizish and then you choose the number of videos you want to display and I like to click the checkboxes here do exactly as you see here don't click this don't click that and don't click this just keep show related videos this just makes your page load fast and target window keep it on none and then after this just go ahead and click on save and now we're almost done with the last one which is Twitter which you give it a title, enter your Twitter username, so twitter.com forward slash tizish is so tizish is my username, and now I choose the number of tweets I want to have. If you don't want to show uh, replies, meaning who you talk to, that you could check this off here. To me, I like to show everything, so I like to keep it unchecked. And then pretty much after that, just hit save. And now at this point, we could go to our website. Let's hit refresh. and now as the page is loading what we're gonna see when we scroll down are all of those Facebook social icons the YouTube latest videos and then your latest Twitter tweets so here's the first one recent activity these are things that people have shared on or yeah people have shared these latest postings pretty much now let's scroll down more here's comments if someone wants to leave a comment they could do so now let's here's the find us on Facebook this is the like box. If someone wants to like you, they could do that and they could see your latest stream here. And remember, we chose 10 connections, so it shows 10 people. And now let's scroll down again. Share this article. This is the like button that if you want someone to share an article, this would make, I'm going to show you this one more thing with this share the article, by the way, shortly. Now, the, the next one is recommendations, which obviously shows, like I told you, it's similar to the activity feed. So you see when we scroll up, it's pretty much the same. So recommendations and activity feeds are kind of the same. And now let's go to YouTube. It shows my latest videos from the uh, YouTube postings. Now after that, latest tweets. Sometimes Twitter doesn't respond. That's just their issues. But basically this is supposed to show the latest tweets. All right. So that's everything. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is the share this article. What you want to do if you are going to use this is the following you only want share this article to pretty much show up on your blog postings because those are your actual articles so here's what you want to do I mean this is your choice alright go to the top go to the actual part which share with the with the like button so here it is like button what you can do is scroll to the very top put this at the top of your site and then now you're gonna choose to make it show up only on your individual articles so here's how you do it see where it says show hide you click on show unchecked and what I want to do what I would do is make it show up on on your individual articles and here's how you do that under miscellaneous you're gonna choose single post page what that means is that's your blog posting so when I click save and now let's go to our home page when I hit refresh we're gonna see that the widget doesn't show up here but when I click on an individual blog posting it will show up so here's you see how it's not here but when I click on this individual blog posting it's gonna show up at the top share this article so this would be the ideal place to put it in on your individual blog postings alright so in order to do that just put show unchecked go scroll down to miscellaneous and put single post page alright so that's everything for your social media widgets that are that are fully synced with your Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube systems. All right. If you have any questions, go to facebook.com/tizish the way you see it spelled here and ask me there. All right. 
Well, good luck with your tools. Let me know how you use them and actually share your URL so we could see them on the Facebook uh, uh, fan page so that way everyone else could see. All right. Well, good luck and have fun. Take care.